My life had been very privileged and surrounded by love and caring, and I hardly ever had any crisis or tragedy in my life, and I was very lucky. And I would never have imagined that I would be losing my only son to drugs. I'm moving too fast. The point of a tragedy in my life came before my son's death. I had a good marriage to a Norwegian woman, and she and I both worked in many developing countries. But we were apart a great deal. And she became very close to a, a man she worked with in the World Bank. She decided, for good reasons, I might add, that she was closer to him than to me after 18 years of marriage, she said she wanted to be with this other man. She was working with him on some projects that brought them together. And I was quite distant from her by then. And that was the first shock. I began to realize that even though my life had been very privileged and surrounded by love and caring and family, things could fall apart. It was much more thoughtful and certainly closer to what I wanted to see happen to me. And it pretty much did happen after her death. I haven't told you about her death. She was squabbling with one of her employees. She and her paramour had hired a guy from Iran who was helping them edit a book. The Iranian editor felt that it was mostly bullshit, and he had loaned them some money, and when he said, I want out, I want to be, I want to resign, they wouldn't repay him because they were having money trouble. And so, long story short, he got a gun. He was very depressed about it. He got a gun in Virginia and went into the office where they had all worked together, which was in our home. And they were working there together and he shot her. And as she lay there dying and bleeding to death, he shot himself. It was a murder-suicide. And our son came home from school. The police were all over the house trying to figure out what had happened. They wouldn't tell him. They took him to the police station thinking he might have had something to do with the murder suicide. And he sat in the police station for four hours before they told him that his mother had been shot dead by his best childhood friend. The Iranian guy was our family friend and he'd lived with us for years. So for years after that, Tom became more and more depressed. And in Weston, he started using marijuana a lot and he graduated to heroin and then died at 26. God, it's so morbid, I don't like talking about it.
Beautiful. God, I love coming up here. Thank you for getting me out of my easy chair. Really, I'm serious. You're very kind to me. Robin said, David, you should get a reward.